It's great to have the opportunity to uh, speak with both of you, so uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, maybe I can uh, start by just uh, asking you a question. What, what is this uh, Joy Do uh, Foundation? We have two kids with uh, uh, autism, and uh, a while ago we got to the uh, conclusion that uh, post-21, uh, they don't have a lot of opportunities. And on the other side, we saw that they do have talent. So we decided to uh, start uh, a new foundation uh, that will focus on high-level employment uh, for people with autism, which link their strengths uh, of the different individual uh, to uh, business opportunity and uh, the way that we're looking on this uh, and we're calling it is the autism advantage. We want to see where they have advantage and where they can be employed because they have an advantage and not because this is a charity. like to add to that? Uh, well, the foundation is mainly uh, based on the need of uh, the, the post-21 age of people with autism. It's not only that there are not that many opportunities, it's almost mm -hmm. uh, close to nothing. Um, as you know, they can go to, some of them can go to those treatment uh, programs or day programs which pretty much does not utilize any of their talents or abilities mm -hmm. for the most part they just sit there and being uh, supervised in a way mm -hmm. uh, based on the fact that we believe uh, that they do have abilities there's no reason why these people will not develop like most adult people in the world uh, have meaningful life that will include employment but will also include the uh, the chance to be around other peers and the chance to have social community and uh, fulfill their needs and their um, aspirations and mm -hmm. dreams. Mm -hmm. Now you two have uh, two uh, children, two young men with uh, ASD uh, so what are the types of uh, abilities that uh, you're aware of that they have and what are sort of individual differences as well between the two boys? Well, um, we have two boys, first I should say they're extremely different, uh, mm -hmm. not only in their abilities uh, but their personalities are very, very different. Um, uh, we find we we're not sure what will be the exact profession for them, and we're definitely going to include them in the discussion and what they want to do. But we find that both of them have uh, an incredible visual uh, abilities, uh, very very detail oriented, very very meticulous about how to do things, how to perform things. Uh, we do. Uh, no, one of them, one of our sons, the older one is deaf, but the other one is a music enthusiast. So uh, I don't know if this will lead into any kind of um, employment or ideas. Um, our older son has uh, incredible uh, artistic abilities which will have to be developed. He's not always choosing to use it, but I'm pretty sure he could. Mm -hmm. Um, these are the, the few things that at this point I can identify again how we are translating it to an employment is still down the road uh, we'll take some uh, assessment and some and, and as I said it will have to include their uh, their opinion as well we are trying to include them in every decision that will be made for you know, will be made for, uh, regarding mm -hmm. their future. As a strength that we see that they have, is both of them are very strong in uh, mathematics. And uh, in mathematics is from the arithmetic, like they can do calculation of large numbers very fast, uh, but it's going to actually 
uh, calculus and geometry where they, they have a very strong visual that helps them to see in geometry whatever we haven't seen before. So they have a strong academics uh, mm -hmm. skills and uh, they have very strong learning abilities because many things that they learn uh, they learn about themselves. Now you mentioned that they didn't have uh, academics until uh, 16. So you know, my question to you really is: uh, so you're pretty clear in terms of their strengths and abilities of mathematical, visual, spatial, detail-oriented navigation. So were these abilities apparent early on, and in, in the educational system? Uh, recognize these uh, abilities and uh, build on those strengths? What kind of challenges uh, have you encountered in terms of your sort of, uh, your, your own personal histories? They were given the um, communication tool by typing. Um, it all came out and it all was proven or finally, you know, people could see that they have it. They also expressed themselves about the fact that finally they have a way to to show the world that they're not dumb. Mm -hmm. And they are fully aware of their um, abilities and, and their intellect and they, it becomes extremely important to them and they repeat it in many of our communications. Uh, very important for them to, for the world to know that they do have those uh, uh, capabilities, intellectual, that they're not stupid, uh, that they want to be like uh, have the same opportunities like everyone else. Uh, at some point, uh, our son Tal asked his neurologist if she's the doctor who will cure autism. And um, obviously they still maybe think there, there is a cure, and there may be in many years, we don't know. Um, but they're aware that they will have to uh, deal with it for, for the long run. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, I think they, s they still feel that they deserve the same opportunities regardless that they are disabled. Okay. It does seem like there's been an explosion in the understanding that you know, there are many different kinds of minds that people think uh, differently. People uh, learn differently, and there are a lot of individual differences in terms of uh, strengths and weaknesses. And uh, you know, it sounds like in a sort of a rapidly changing society, and all kinds of changes in technology, that you'd want to get uh, input from all kinds of different minds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much for uh, participating in this interview.